crafty friends thanks for stopping by the station um, I had the opportunity to do some shopping yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby and to Tuesday morning those are two stores I don't normally get to go to so I wanted to take a moment and share with you some of the things that I picked up uh, first we went to Hobby Lobby which is about a half an hour away uh, from the town that I live in, so I don't get up there very often, though I do enjoy the store. I would picked up some felt for a specific project I'm working on, and then all of the Paper Studio products were 50% off, so I picked up um, a lot of the spare parts from the Paper uh, Studio line. Um, you can always use gears, right? So I picked those up picked up charms this is a nautical uh, series of the charms so you have clocks a windmill um, the ship's wheel compass anchor I thought those could be fun angel wings uh, to try some projects with those I also picked up this uh, this is the uh, clock in time piece metal charms so they have all different sizes, all different styles, and then keys, because keys are, you can never have too many, right? So I picked those up. Um, I also got in the spare parts, the mini dominoes. Um, I've never altered dominoes and never played with them, so I thought this could be fun to uh, do something with that. So I picked some of those up. From the jewelry department, there was uh, the metal gallery. They were 50% off as well, so I just picked up some filigrees. So I got the square. They're kind of small, but I thought they could be fun to use. And then these tiny, maybe half inch, circle filigrees. So they were half off as well. In the trim department, I found this spool. It's three yards of trim. It was uh, $1.99 for three yards. But I don't have anything quite like this teardrop shape, so I thought it would be fun to play with. And then I hit the clearance section. So I found this. It was $1.20 for three yards. It's this It's a fuchsia hot pink lace with sequins on it and it is it does have some elastic in it uh, but I thought that could be fun to play with and then I found a couple of sprays a tattered angel shimmer mist in barn red this was 251 on clearance and then a Heidi swap black velvet color shine and it was 215 that I found. So I really, I didn't have a good black. My black is more gray. So I was happy to find that. So that was my Hobby Lobby trip. My husband was very patient. Um, because when I go to Hobby Lobby, I just kind of, well, you know, you wander. You get that, my uh, mom calls it the red haze coming over your your vision because you're just wandering around looking at things um and he was very close to have you seen the facebook picture where a husband spelled out the help me out of the giant letters my husband was very close to doing that yesterday so we left there and on the way back into town we stopped by tuesday morning um so i picked up these are from american crafts wood veneer butterflies. There's 20 in the package, all different sizes. I also picked up, I didn't have any stickles, so I figured I could pick this up and try it. They were 99 cents each. Um, this one's called Barn Door, which seemed to be a theme yesterday. I didn't realize until I got home. And then I have brushed so a dark silver one. 
So I found those. I also, by Tim Holtz, found um, tissue tape. This one's called Commute. So I thought I'd try that. And then I had seen these once on um, a YouTube video. But I never tried them. They're called um, Smush Smoosh Spritz. They're super pretty. They came in a three pack. They were shrink wrapped together. Um, I bought two different kinds. I've got in this pack was it was called spun sugar. It's a really pretty gold. The green is emerald sprinkle. And then the blue is sea kiss. But they're kind of fun. They were for the three pack. $4.99. So I thought I'd give it a try. I, and I picked up two. So the second set was um, a beautiful darker blue. It's called Navy Twinkle. Wineberry, which was a stunning purple color. And then Tea Party, which is more coral. So I picked up that as well to add to my collection and then the last thing I found at um Tuesday morning was really kind of talk about an impulse purchase I didn't start can't even see it it's so big um I started really working with paper uh Christmas before last when I finally received a Cricut. I had held out for a long time because I don't scrapbook and I thought that the only way you could use a Cricut was with a scrapbook and how wrong I was, right? Um, but along the way, I discovered that I thought that a paper trimmer would be kind of nice to have, though I was a little, um, I thought, why should I get a paper trimmer? Because I have the Cricut. So I finally... I used a paper trimmer I borrowed my mom's for a little bit and I really enjoyed it. So I bought this. It was um it's a big one from American Crafts. You can put up to I think it said 14 inches um of the paper on it. It's got the arm that comes out. It's so I have that and I have a couple of projects in mind that uh this will come in very handy for. So thank you for stopping by today. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Have a great day. Bye.